Good morning, Rick Spring. I'm Cody. And I'm Melissa. And we're here for your Channel 3 News. The counseling department would like to make you aware of the fact that you can email a confidential email to refer any student about which you have concerns to the high school SAP team. The SAP team consists of trained teachers, administrators, our school resource officer, a school psychologist, the nurse, all three counselors, and a mental health, drug, and alcohol professional. We meet weekly to discuss ways that we can support students through tough things, depression, anxiety, grief, relationship issues, and drug and alcohol concerns. In light of the recent loss of our student, it is essential that you provide us with support to all students who may be struggling. Children's Grief Awareness Day is November 15th this year. This is a day for us to come together to support all of those children and teens who have lost loved ones. Club Care will help in this mission by hosting several activities this week. All week, find the Club Care members at lunch in the cafeteria to help color the Hope Banner. Wednesday, get a butterfly tattoo and or sticker at lunch. On Thursday, the actual day of grief awareness, please wear your blue and add on those butterfly stickers and tattoos. We'll have a photo booth for you to show off your style. Friday, pick up some pencils at lunch and help finish the banner. We would also like to show support for our entire student body as they continue to grieve the loss of Britton Fickenbinder by, sp by spreading messages of positivity and encouragement on blue and purple post-it notes this day. If you have any questions on how to participate, see Riley Muma or Riley Ward. Memorial College Workshop is on November 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. The Drew Michael Taylor Foundation will be open from 6 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, November 15th. All materials will be provided for you to make a memorial collage. They are located on 7th South Earl Street in Shippensburg. If you are interested in a trip of a lifetime to France, Ireland, and England in the summer of 2020, you should watch this for more information and plan on attending one of the upcoming meetings on November 12th or November 27th at 6.30. Any Big Spring High School student or parent is able to attend. Because planes were built to live in the skies. And every person was built to live out the dream they have inside. So it is perhaps the saddest loss to live a life on the ground. Nearly all of them said they regretted not the things they did, but the things they didn't do. See, people don't choose dreams. Dreams choose them. So the question I'm getting to is, do you have the courage to grab the dream that picked you? travel to New York on Friday. This, the bus will leave from the high school parking lot on Friday, November 16th at 6 a.m. You should plan on getting here 10 minutes early to find a seat on the bus. Students are advised to dress in layers. At this time, weather in New York on November 16th is going to be sunny with a high around 50 degrees. We recommend students wear comfortable shoes for walking since we will be hiking through Central Park on our way to Broadway. Try to dress respectively, khakis and a collared shirt at least. What you'll need, money for dinner plus a couple of dollars tip for the driver is optional. Uh, change of socks or slippers in case your feet get wet, a warm jacket, a pillow and or blanket for sleeping on the ride home, and cell phone for selfies, pictures, and to call home to arrange pickup time. A paint night will be held at the high school on December 4th from 6 to 8.30. It is $35 to participate and a portion of the proceeds will go to Minithon. Check your email to RSVP before the spots are all taken. Now to Natalie with your sports. Through the perilous fight or the ramparts we I'm Natalie and I'm here with your sports. If you're interested in joining the Big Spring Color Guard program, there will be an open gym November 14th and 15th. It will take place in the middle school gym from 6 to 9 p.m. Consider joining to meet new friends, be part of a team, and join us and work on some dance skills. No net no experience is necessary. Now to Luke with your weather. Oh, America, America, God Hi guys, this is your weatherman Luke Han for Channel 3 News. Um, for today we have a high of 48 to a low 30 degrees today. And as you may have noticed, it's a bit chilly out today, so bring your coats. Um, for tomorrow we have a high of 49 to a low 40. 
um, spec morning showers and it will be a breezy, breezy day. And for the Wednesday, we have a high 42, low 29 degrees. It will be very chilly, so also bring a coat. Um, this is your weather for the day and going back to Alyssa and Cody. Thank you, Luke. All sophomores will be taking the ASVAB test on no Wednesday, November 14th. You should report to your first period class for attendance, then directly report to the auditorium for testing at 735. The testing will run into AFLEX, so there's no need to sign up for an AFLEX. You will have a report to advisement B for BFLEX, and all sophomores will eat C lunch that day. If you are in 11th or 12th grade and you wish to take the ASVAB test, stop by the counseling office to add your name onto the list. The National Guard is inviting any interested individual to come to their guard experience on November 14th from 4 to 8 p.m. You can learn about the 150 plus career opportunities, education benefits, and get hands-on time with military gear, aircraft, uniforms, and more. There will be food, games, and giveaways. Stop by the counseling office for more information. On Monday, November 19th, during CFLEX, FFA will be having a Friendsgiving meal. Anyone can come as long as they bring a dish to share and sign up, and sign up on the sheet in the ag hallway. Bring your food to room 141 on the morning of the 19th. Sign up for FFA or friend, Friendsgiving CFLEX by November 16th. Any questions, please contact Claire Keller. Want to help out your community? There's a blood drive coming up, and here's the information if you want to participate. Monday and Tuesday during A and C lunches, you can write a letter thanking a special teacher. Grab a leaf, write a note, and dog pound will attach it to the tree. Spread your Thanksgiving cheer. Spanish Club is hosting the Pulsera Project from no November 12th to the 16th during A and C lunches. Don't know what it is? Check this out. The Pulsera Project is a fair trade nonprofit organization that works with artisans in Nicaragua and Guatemala and provides a market for their handmade bracelets or pulseras in schools across the U.S. Each pulsera costs only $5 and comes tagged with the photo and the signature of the artist who made it. Money raised from your school's pulsera sale will sustain employment for nearly 200 artisans and will also fund housing, healthcare, scholarships, social enterprises, and other empowerment programs that benefit the artists and communities throughout Central America. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing time coloring the world with the Pulsera Project in your school. Think you have a good singing voice? Then check this out. Oh, thank you so much for helping me get to work. Traffic is terrible. I don't know what I'd do without you. Ah, it's the least I could do for letting you be on the show for a week, so yeah, no problem. Do you mind if we listen to some music? I would love to. Yeah, should we yeah. see? Not around, not around. Not around. Not around. We were making free, free so we can't breathe. She said, Do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my dad and my mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking for more information about your events, activities, or initiatives at your school? The Mass Media class sends out text alerts about important announcements you might miss on Channel 3. To participate, text the code at BSHSANN to 81010. I'm Cody. And I'm Melissa. Have a fantastic day. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the